Thank you, everyone, for joining today's press conference. Joining us today would be HUD Secretary Ben Carson, former Congressman Sean Duffy, and Assistant Secretary to Public and Indian Housing Hunter Kurtz. We're also pleased to welcome Senator Todd Young, who's joining us today via Zoom. To begin today's press conference, we'll welcome HUD Secretary Ben Carson to the stage to give remarks. Well, good morning, and thank you all for tuning in today. Um, you know, events are looking a little different these days, doing them virtually uh, rather than in person. And uh, hopefully someday soon that will be over, although I'm not sure that we will ever get away from the virtual conferencing now that it's been started. And I'm also pleased to be joined today by uh, Senator Todd Young. He's going to be joining us virtually. And uh, former Congressman Sean Duffy, who we miss very much here in Washington, D.C., and uh, HUD's uh, Assistant Secretary for Public and Indian Housing, Hunter Kurtz, is with us as well. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our continued collaborative efforts to alleviate poverty and expand opportunity for all Americans. As a compassionate country, we talk about alleviating poverty. Our considerations must be twofold. First, Obviously, we want to help people who are experiencing poverty. And secondly, we want to empower people experiencing poverty to lift themselves up, to climb those ladders of opportunity. And our focus today is really on the second part of that equation, helping people who are seeking opportunities. Studies indicate that when people are given a choice about where they can live, uh, for example, in areas with more educational and economic opportunities, the impact and benefit is not only current, but generational. And that's one of the challenges prevalent in our current welfare system. Poverty tends to be cyclical, and a lot of the things that we do tend to maintain people rather than bolster their opportunities. Kids who grew up in poverty often end up living in poverty as adults. And it's mostly due to a lack of necessary opportunities to lead a life that is more fruitful. Today we're taking another step toward helping those in search of a chance to succeed. And really, isn't that what the American dream is all about? We're pleased to introduce HUD's new Housing Choice Mobility Demonstration. With this demonstration, we're testing our hypothesis in the real world. Our aim is to find out whether the conclusion of the many studies rings true. If given more choices in where they live, would families benefit economically? We believe the answer is yes. This demonstration will allow participating public housing authorities throughout the country to implement housing mobility programs by offering mobility-related services to increase the number of voucher families with children living in opportunity areas. Today's announcement is the realization of bipartisan legislation first offered in the House and Senate. In fact, the bill's lead sponsors from Congress are here with us today. So I will now turn it over to senior senator from Indiana, Senator Todd Young. Well, thank you, Secretary Carson. I, I'm proud to join you, uh, my former colleague and friend, Congressman Sean Duffy, and Assistant Secretary Kurtz today. We are all here for one simple reason. Families deserve the opportunity to live in the neighborhoods that best suit their needs. Evidence shows that where a child grows up will more often than not dictate their life outcomes in the long run. And today, three out of five children in the United States lived in what you might call a distressed zip code. That's why it's been my mission to help families escape the generational cycle of poverty. In 2019, I introduced the Housing Choice Voucher Mobility Demonstration Act with Senator Chris Van Hollen and a number of bipartisan co-sponsors. 
Congressman Sean Duffy and I were the lead sponsors of that bill in the Senate and the House, respectively. In early 2019, the president signed this legislation into law. The bill authorizes an evidence-based program to help families receiving housing vouchers move to areas of high opportunity. And I'm proud to announce the HUD's new Housing Choice Voucher Mobility Demonstration uh, Program today because of everyone's great work to get that bill across the finish line. This will incentivize greater choice and greater mobility in HUD's Housing Choice Voucher Program. This new program will help break the cycle of poverty that far too many Americans cannot escape because of the zip code they were born in. It will relocate families, willing families, to high opportunity areas with lower crime, better education, access to transportation, quality health care, and suitable housing. Today's a big step toward increasing mobility and opportunity for all American families. I look forward to working with Secretary Carson on implementation of this demonstration program and many more policies that will ensure everyone has a fair shot at the American dream. Thanks so much, Secretary Carson, and uh, I will turn it back over to you and your team. Thank you, Senator. Now we welcome to the stage former Congressman Sean Duffy. Well, it's great to be with you, uh, Senator, uh, looking like you're coming at us from your office. Uh, just a, a, a note, I, I, I appreciate all the work that you and Senator Van Hollen uh, did on this bill. I know uh, Senator Rubio was also uh, a participant. Uh, but I would just note, that's a Republican and a Democrat in the Senate working together. Uh, in the House, I worked with my good friend Emanuel Cleaver, a Democrat. Uh, people from both sides of the aisle coming together to try to find solutions to make people's lives better. And I want to thank you, uh, Secretary Carson, for all of your great work here at HUD. But uh, grabbing this bipartisan bill and bringing it to life today in this demonstration uh, project uh, th that we're announcing. I, I, I appreciate your leadership on that. But so often, um, many people look at their government and uh, think, where's the common sense? If we're going to offer people housing, but housing only exists in a, in, a, in, a, in a neighborhood where there's no opportunity, how does that person climb the economic ladder to prosperity, to the middle class? or if they're in a neighborhood that doesn't have a school system that fits their needs, how do we give those children an opportunity at the American dream? And so I think this is bringing common sense to government in the sense that uh, we're going to have a demonstration project that allows families, if they choose to leave one community that might not have opportunity or a great education system, and move to another community that might have opportunity for jobs and employment or a better school or more safety. And when you have a, a house and a job with upward mobility and opportunity, um, you're living the American dream. We want government to work for families and for people. And this is one small step in making government smarter as we make people's and families' lives better. And so uh, I, I, I hope that from this project, we have more members of Congress looking at where we can improve uh, our, our programs in government that can better fit the needs uh, of our families. And uh, I'm all about the American dream, all about making sure the next generation has a shot at it. Uh, and if you, as I think the, uh, uh, Senator Young mentioned this, if you are in um, a community where your parents have a job and you have a good education system, your shot at the American dream goes up exponentially. But if you're in a community where um, you might have a house, but your parents can't find a job, or you have a failing school system, the odds of a accomplishing that dream go down. And so uh, I'm proud today that we're giving more families more opportunity and more freedom to live their dream. Uh, so thank you, uh, Secretary Carson. Very grateful for your leadership. Uh, and uh, very proud of this bipartisan bill that was passed and now uh, coming to fruition with this implementation. Thank you, Congressman. Now we welcome Assistant Secretary of Public and Indian Housing, Hunter Kurtz. Thank you, Secretary Carson, Congressman Duffy, and uh, Senator Young. 
uh, for your remarks about the Housing Choice Voucher Mobility Demonstration. And thank you for all of you for joining us today. It's an honor to be here uh, with you talking about something that we've been working on for a little over a year. Uh, and I want to thank especially, again, Congressman Duffy and Senator Young for their leadership on getting this demonstration funded and passed through Congress. Um, as the Secretary mentioned, the Housing Choice Voucher Mobility Demonstration is really about our continued collaborative effort to alleviate poverty uh, and expand opportunity for all Americans. The demonstration helps us do that by leveraging the existing Housing Choice Voucher Program and enhancing it with relatively low-cost services. These services help families improve their credit history, learn about um, all of their housing options in neighborhoods with strong schools, safe streets, and robust, robust access to jobs. This funding will also help public housing agencies work better with private market landlords by being able to provide security deposits, uh, quicker inspections, and more dedicated customer service. Helping families access strong communities improves long-term educational, health, and economic outcomes for children. And it also helps improve the lives of their parents by providing better access to job opportunities. We encourage all public housing authorities and their communities to con uh, consider applying for this demonstration. And we are excited to see how the, uh, these support services uh, work in different parts of the country. We hope to learn through our independent evaluation what works best so that we can re replicate this throughout the country. Um, I do not uh, want, I, I'm sorry, I do want to be clear though that this demonstration is just but one of a many housing opportunities for low income houses. Uh, we continue our community, community uh, I'm sorry, we continue our commitment to affordable housing enhancements through the RAD or Rental Assistance Demonstration Program, our Family Self Sufficiency Programs, as well as uh, Opportunity Zones and uh, the Foster Youth to Independence Initiative. We believe in investing in neighborhoods and making them stronger and more economically viable, uh, but we also believe in providing families the opportunity to access upward mobility using their housing vouchers. So again, we're very excited about the implementation of this program, and uh, we thank you all for being here. Thank you, Assistant Secretary Kurtz. Thank you all for joining today's news conference. If you have additional press, qu uh, press questions, please reach out to HUD's Office of Public Affairs. A video recording of today's news conference will be posted later this afternoon.